Happy, happy, happy Tuesday. Listen, listen, listen. Women, it's for y'all. It's for us. We have so much power. And we just, sometimes we just give it away. Oh, we give it away to people that don't deserve it. They're not worthy of it. Nobody has to work for anything nowadays. It's like, hey, here it is. You can have it. A couple months fast forward down the road. Your heart is ripped out of your chest. <laughs> you know, the person don't have time for you. They got what they want and they're gone. And, you know, I was, I had a conversation with someone today. It's so interesting. But when you talk to somebody of the opposite sex, it's like, you know, I want to ask questions because I just want to know, like, what's going on? People, you know, things that they have been taught growing up, they just feel like they have to live these things. They have to live out this stuff that they've been taught. And um, I'm just listening to the person talk and listening to him talk. And so I asked this question. Why? You know, why are you doing these things? They're like, well, something's wrong with me. What, what, what's wrong? What happened? What's wrong? You listen to people. You ask, if you ask the right questions, you listen. People will tell you exactly who they are and so the person was so big on don't judge me don't I'm not judging you I just want to know how you think and why you do what you do because people can be you know in relationships can be in marriages and they're not happy but they don't communicate to their partner because they want their partner their spouse or whoever to just stay right there and they play these games out here with other people Right, and the other people know the situation. They're up front. They're honest. They tell them, and yet they still get in the middle of that bed, and they give them everything they got. And then the person goes back to their their family, and you are left to think about them, to to want to wish you can talk to them and wish you can you know see them, and then ne- they never will be yours, never. So my question was, why? Like, why do you do that? Basically, because they can. Because they can. And they like that feeling. You know, some older men like the feeling of, oh, this young girl likes me and I still got it. And and this is what this is what I was told. I was told this. My dad told me when I was young, have as much sex as you can. Make as much money as you can. Okay. And you feel like you got to do that because your dad said that. You know? Just because, you know, our parents, our ancestors told us things and showed us things does not mean it's right. But when you become accustomed to doing these things for so long, you t- you you convince yourself it's right. Even if it's wrong as two left shoes. I'm going to stop one day. I can stop if I want to. When you going to stop? One last time. There's no such thing as that. You know? Just damaging people. Hurting people. Stop. And you can't just blame this person. Because guess what? Somebody on the other end. Is given into it. The charm, the money, the laughs, the attention, the affection. All of these things are temporary and they're outside things. So you're gonna have to keep seeking these things to feel for, to, to be fulfilled for the moment. And at the end of the day, they're going back home to who they who they said I do to, who they in a relationship to with. And you're left to to wonder, to hurt, to think. It's not good. It's not good, nor does it end well. If it ends.
You deserve more than that. If this is you, you deserve more than that. You deserve more than a couple hours of sneaking around. You deserve more than that. You work more than that. You got to value yourself. A person is only going to do what you allow them to do. If you if you let them play these games with you, if you get in that bed every time they every time they they come say whisper some sweet little nothings in your ear, they gonna they gonna they gonna do it every time. Every time. And it's sad. So I ask questions, right? Then if you have kids, I'm like, okay, so what if somebody didn't see your daughter? Don't get upset. Don't get upset because you're doing this. You're doing this to somebody's daughter. And what you put out, it comes back to you. If it don't come to you, it's going to skip you and go to your kids. You know? I, and then and then I tell younger guys, I give tell younger guys, younger guys the same thing. And they're like, yeah, I, I like, I said, of course they're going to like that. That's condoning their their bad behavior. Don't tell anybody else that. No. Unacceptable. It's unacceptable. It's so many hurt people out here. Damaging people. And some people can't come back from this stuff. They get they get hurt so bad that they don't even want to try again. And then some just don't even want it no more at all. Right? It's just sad. It's sad. And I'm just listening. And I was like, well, I think you you, you should apologize. No, I can't apologize. If I apologize, then that means it's over. It should be over. I don't want it to be over. Sad. I'm telling you, this is sad. Some sad stuff out here. And I get why people get tired. I get why people want to just quit and give up. But you got to work on you. You got to work on you to the point of you see this BS and you're like, you know what? No, I ain't falling for that. I'm better than that. I'm more than that. I'm worthy to be loved, to be in a committed relationship with one person. I'm worthy to be somebody's wife. I need to carry myself as such. Not a side chick. So if you carry yourself as a side chick, that's what you're going to always be. And they are here for it. All I got to do is spend a little, spend a little coins and, you know, make them laugh and, 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 you know, feed them. They good. No, you're worth more than that. You are worth more than that. My God. And soul ties. Don't get me started on that. You get hooked. You get trapped. You guys have sex. Guess what? You get up and leave. You're taking that person with you. They're taking you with you. They're taking them with you. And whoever else y'all been with. It's a huge mess. And you wonder why you can't stop. Your body feels drawn to this person. It's serious. Also, also, Anne, you can you can heal from this. You really can. There are prayers, there are scriptures, there are certain things you can do to to get delivered from this stuff. But I'm telling you, it's so powerful. It's so powerful. And to hear this person saying these things, it's like, my God. And then getting getting upset when you ask certain questions and like, you know, that they don't like. They don't like people don't like being called out on their stuff. They want you to condone their 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 behavior, their terrible behavior, terrible, unacceptable. Don't judge me. Don't. No, I'm not judging. I'm asking you a question. You're judging yourself. Because at the end of the day, I have zero attachment to um conversations I have with people because it has nothing to do with me. It's your model of the world, not mine. It's your. We all have our own model of the world. And this is how you see the world. This is how you live your life. That's on you. It has nothing to do with me. If you want coaching around that, if you want support around that, if you want an advocate around that, I'm here for that. Only people that want help and want to do things differently. 
if you like what you got going on, then keep keep, keep it on, keep it on. Keep on keeping it on. But yeah, it just blew my mind. It blew my mind today. I was like, oh my God. And when I brought brought up the apology, apology for what? I'm not going to apologize. And I, I get that. I said, you know what? I know, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking from that because I know what it's like to want something from someone and never get it. But I just thought I'd just ask, like, how do you feel about apologizing? Because what you're doing is wrong. And the 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 comment was, if I apologize, then that means it's over and I don't want it to be over. So it's about you. And it's about your ego. I do not go, I do not want to go around intentionally hurting someone, knowing that I'm hurting someone. Because now I do know that you can be hurt and not even know it and then in return you're hurting other people. But this right here is blatantly just hurting people and know you're hurting them. And have no regard for it because this is it's all about you. Your wants and your needs and how they make you feel. And it's just unacceptable. Unacceptable. But I don't know. I just wanted to share this awareness because hmm. I just want us to, I want us to wake up. I want us to stop giving in to these, these people. Focus on you. Get to know you. Let God work on you. You got to get to know you. Because if not, man, there's so many damaged souls out here. Broken souls, damaged souls, wounded souls, hurting souls. It's so many. And I see I see it. It's so recognizable because that was once me. Broken, damaged, wounded soul. The good news is you can recover. You just got to be willing to do the work. That's all. I'm complete. I wanted to share this with you all tonight. Because it definitely was in my heart. I was like, man, I got to share. This is a this is a hot mess. But I get it. I do. I understand. You guys have the most amazing rest of your night. Peace and love until next time.